Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. And welcome back, everybody. Looking at temperatures that were pretty warm today. We managed to climb up to 33 degrees. Even though the colder air moved in, sunshine helped things. 10 degrees above average. Record high this day was 55 degrees. That set back eight years ago. We started off pretty mild as well. Only got down to 23 degrees early this morning. Live look out towards Dickinson. Clear skies being reported at the moment. You can see just a little bit of sun, uh, sunlight left there. 15 degrees currently with a light west wind at 7 miles per hour. Makes it feel like 5 degrees. Yeah, it is cold. Temperatures uh, in the teens for many people. 20s in some spots. Bismarck, the, one of the warmest spots right now, 24. It's 16 there in Rugby, 15 out towards Medina, 21 in Elgin, 23 Hedinger, 14 degrees in Beach, and 20 25 degrees currently there in northeast Montana. Let's go ahead and look at the winds because there are starting to be some interesting things going on at the moment. Now, we do have a westerly and a northwesterly wind across our central counties in North Dakota, but back off towards the west, we're starting to see light winds and even some southerly winds now developing across our northwestern counties. There's a reason for that. Now, the wind chill, when you can factor in the wind and the actual temperature, it's pretty cold, especially across our eastern counties there in central North Dakota and up towards the Canadian. Canadian border. Crosby feels like two degrees below zero out the door. Now, we're going to take a look at satellite radar. It is clear at the moment. Not much going on. Pretty clear uh, in terms of precipitation. Pretty clear, literally, in terms of the cloud cover. More clouds are beginning to build in from Montana, however. Here's the big picture. You can see the storm system that rolled through overnight. Gave us that uh, lovely ice and snow. That's now uh, over Iowa. They can deal with that. We're looking at more active weather, however, back towards our west. We have a system brewing off towards our west. And that's the reason we're starting to see the uh, change in wind direction and the increase in clouds from the west. So here we go, precision cast. Look at this. Warm front begins to develop across our western counties by late tonight. Really, it's already happening with the southerly winds developing, but we'll start to see a stronger warm front developing. The uh, low pressure is actually still way up in the uh, Canadian Rockies, but we're going to start to see warm air and a strong southwesterly wind push through our area through tomorrow morning, through tomorrow afternoon, and those temperatures are going to rise up very quickly through the day. So it might be pretty cold out there right now, but starting about midnight tonight, temperatures are going to be warming through the night, then warming through through the day tomorrow. We will see a little bit of sunshine out there with a few clouds, but watch what happens. A cold front quickly on its heels. That'll push through by late tomorrow afternoon into the evening, and behind that, those winds are going to crank up and crank up quite impressively. We're going to see winds, and some of the data is suggesting a gusting up to maybe 60 miles per hour at times, so this is no joke. We're going to be looking at some very strong winds behind that system. Sunday will be a windy, sunny day to start out. The winds will eventually subside side by the afternoon. We'll be left with some sunshine out there. But yeah, hold on your hat. Literally, it is going to be uh, uh, very active out there in terms of those winds. There's your three-day forecast for Disc Dickinson. Again, lots of sunshine. Those winds start to crank up by late tomorrow afternoon. Williston, same deal. Winds will crank up by tomorrow afternoon. But look at those temperatures getting up to the mid-40s through the day tomorrow. Lows overnight tonight. Temperatures will get down to the single digits and T's. Now, these temperatures will be set at about midnight because everyone will start to warm up with that lifting warm front uh, overnight tonight. And then your highs tomorrow will actually be set later on in the evening. So look at those temperatures getting up to near 50 degrees to the southwest. And not bad in mind, not either. Low 40s. Look at this. Extremely windy. I think it's the first time I've ever put that out there for tomorrow evening. So be aware of that. Bismarck, again, temperatures will be in the mid 40s. We'll pick up those winds by tomorrow evening. Uh, any loose furniture outside? Make sure it's. Yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. down and secure because things are going to be uh, flying around tomorrow night. Yeah, a big change. Thanks, Dave. Coming up next, of course, shocking news.